And now let us pray for ourselves and for our world. God of all people, you provide us with a vision of love and grace and forgiveness. You give us dreams for ourselves and for our world, dreams which are larger than those we can imagine ourselves. Through Jesus Christ, you offer us a way to realize these dreams, and yet it still seems so far away. As you gave Joseph the ability and the choice to see your hand at work and to choose to follow your ways of love and grace, of forgiveness and compassion, we pray that you would help us do the same, that you would help us to make choices which fulfill your dreams for us and for your world. Our world, O oh God, is tormented by COVID-19, people turning against people as we differ in our responses, masks, going back to school or work or church, and as we tire of the isolation and the loneliness, as people get sick and die or recover but are plagued with ongoing health issues. And so we come to you saying, have mercy on us. O oh God, our world is tormented by war, nations turning against nations, destroying histories and culture, along with the lives of your beloved people. And so we come to you saying, have mercy on us. O oh God, our world is tormented by poverty. Many grow rich, while others live with very little. And so we come to you saying, have mercy on us. Our world, O oh God, is tormented by exclusion. Power is held by the dominant few who often fail to recognize their own privilege. And so we come to you saying, have mercy on us. O oh God, our world is tormented by anxiety. Fear and self-doubt and voices tell us we can never have or be enough. It consumes our thoughts. And so we come to you saying, have mercy on us. O oh God, our world is tormented by illness and death. Pain and grief and hopelessness, they fill our bodies and our spirits. Be with those today and this week who are struggling in any way. And so we come to you saying, have mercy on us. We lift all these prayers to you, trusting that you will answer those who persist in faith and so together, despite our differences, we come praying with one voice the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Our closing hymn, 462, All My Hope on God is Founded. <laughs> 